One of the features of Scala strings is the ability to do string interpolation. And this is a very handy feature to have, so I want to spend a little bit of time looking on it. So we have a name and we have an age. It would not be unusual to want to have some type of message that combines those things. And a standard way to do that might be to say name plus is years old. That code just uses the plus sign to do string concatenation, and it sticks all the pieces together. Uh, it's reasonably verbose, though. Uh, the extra plus signs make it a bit longer. This is a use case for string interpolation, one of them. So an alternate way to build this message. We're going to just make a string, but we're going to precede it with the character s. That s says that we are doing the string interpolation. There also, there's a formatted string interpolation that you put the letter F in front. <clears throat> I'm not going to go into that in this video. Uh, the interested viewer can go look up the details of that. But the idea is that now I can put values directly into the string. So to put name in, I just put a dollar sign in front of the name of the variable and then I can type the rest of my string. I want to stick age in, so I put dollar age years old. So this will produce the same result, <clears throat> and it has just put this in here. It's actually possible for it to produce slightly faster code. That's not something that we really care about here. Uh, the big plus for us is that it, it is actually easier to read. It's harder to mess up when you're doing things. Now there's another feature to this string interpolation. If I wanted a more complex expression here, so instead of just having uh, you know, age, I wanted maybe I was wanted to pull out the second element of t. So val str equals the second element of t is and it's tempting to put something like that there. And note this compiles, but it doesn't do what we want. If I were to print this, we'd get two point, we'd get for t, we'd get the entire tuple, which would be this entire thing would be stuck in there and then it would say dot underscore two. If we have a more complex expression, we can put it inside of curly braces. So if we want to call methods on something, turns out if we want to do math, so instead of age, if I wanted this to be age plus one, I could use curly braces to enclose that. <clears throat> now you might think, well, up here I could have just put in something like that. This actually doesn't do what you want because we have <clears throat> done an append to a string. This, because our age is 22, this would actually print give the, the value to message as uh, 221. Uh, 221 is what it would look like using the standard form we'd have to put parentheses around that so that the addition is handled separately if we were doing other math like multiplication we might not have to do that because of the precedence of the operators but this gives you a brief introduction to what string interpolation is and how you can use it you're never required to use string interpolation but it's a handy way to to build strings and it's especially if you have multiple variables that you want to put inside of a single string and then you want to have other stuff in between them. It's very nice to be able to use string interpolation, gives you a more compact form that's generally easier to read and to work with.